All right, traders, in this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to load the TickBlaze trading platform and connect to market data. Now, once you install the TickBlaze application on your computer, you're going to see two icons. There's gonna be a TickBlaze CLI, and then there's gonna be a TickBlaze desktop. You'll always want to start with the TickBlaze desktop as the TickBlaze CLI is meant for developers. Now, you're gonna enter your credentials. You'll have received those upon downloading the free trial, and it should have been sent in your email. And then if you have any questions, you can always contact us to get your accurate login credentials. Make sure you put remember me so that it makes it easier when you log in and let's continue. Now, when you load the TickBlaze platform on the initial install, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be prompted to essentially load a desktop. Now, since you've never used TickBlaze before, uh, you probably don't have a desktop. And what that means is you're going to need to name your desktop. And I always like to just start with standard because what we do is we have two desktops. We have a standard desktop and we have a strategy desktop. So I like to name it my standard desktop. And then you'll notice down here, you can see your data connection, broker connection, and then template. If this is your first install, you won't need to do anything with data because data comes pre-configured with TickBlaze. And if you've never installed TickBlaze or used it before, you'll be on a simulation broker connection. Now you see this little use template button here. This is for the pre-built uh, workspaces and layouts that we've built. So whenever you click on the standard desktop, you click on this and you'll see that there's a standard desktop. If I was using the strategy desktop, you'll see that the name changes to strategy desktop. For this example, we're gonna load the standard desktop. I'm gonna come down here and choose the pre-built template and hit okay. Now immediately what you're going to hear is connected. You'll obviously be prompted to roll over any futures contracts because of the automatic rollover for updating the expirations. You can hit update. And what's gonna happen is you should hear a little connected. And what that means is you'll notice that on the top right when you load the desktop, it says connected to market data. The benefit about TickBlaze is that we have strategic partnerships in place to pass those savings on to you so that you don't have to actually go and purchase a data provider. You don't need to pick the exchanges and figure out which markets you have coverage for. We've taken along, uh, taken away all that, that guesswork and basically those extra costs. And the goal is to be able to make TickBlaze extremely accessible within a very short period of time upon installation. Now from the load of this default desktop, you're gonna see that you've got some pre-populated watch lists, you've got some charts, you can essentially move these around. You can basically build new ones down here. And what we're gonna do in the upcoming videos is we're ultimately going to essentially teach you how to build the desktops and save them and basically navigate through the platform so that you can use it easily and, and get to trading. So if you have any questions on how to get up and running with this, you can definitely contact us. But one thing before we end the video is I just wanna go over here to the menu tab and you're gonna notice under connections, you're gonna see data connection, it is set to default. That means you are automatically connected to real-time market data. Should you ever want to add different data connections, you could, we have a list of strategic connections that we've integrated into the platform and you may want to choose that as well should you want to, any specific data needs that are over and above what comes with TickBlaze. With the broker connection, it automatically comes with a simulated feed. And if you want to add broker connections like Rhythmic or Interactive Brokers or any of the other preferred broker partners we connect with, uh, you can do so at whim. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.